it's a nine. Yes, sir, right on the dot. You know I've been waiting for... Shut up. What's the time got to do with us? As I was saying, it's ten minutes of nine. Ten minutes of ten, you all be out of Twin Forks, drunk or sober. Don't come back. I make myself clear. Five years in that stinking jail and already we're getting shoved around. You gonna let him get away with it? Ain't you had enough, kid? I'm telling you, for the last time, you've got to stay out of trouble. Leave me alone. How are we gonna get rid of him? Maybe you figure on doing it. Maybe I could, McCord. You're not thinking of losing me, are you? And brother yours is gonna rot in jail like I did. Bringing him back if I have to drag him by his heels. You kill ya. You. You'll have to. Cut it out. Well, what about some service? We're getting out of here. Go on, kid. Line us up some horses and guns. With what? They let you out of jail, give you ten lousy dollars. What can you get for that? Throw your watch in. That's worth something. What kind of service you fellas want? Whiskey. Everybody? Yeah, everybody. Don't go with us, kid, please. Get yourself a job on a ranch. You're really crazy in the head, ain't you, Doc? Me quit now? <laughs> Why don't you leave me and Egan alone? I've been waiting to do that for five years. Giving you that hour. Get your horses, anything else you want. You're getting out of town now. I should have killed him. damage. I got a Mexican saddle I paid ninety dollars more in El Paso. I need a horse and a rifle. Well, don't get much call for such a fancy rig as this. I just sit here. How about one of you? What's that, mister? Want to buy a saddle? Huh. Pay ninety dollars for it. Huh. I don't know. All I've got's a mule and a sharps carbine with a busted primer and three dollars. I'll give you them for it. I'm a poor man, Mister. I'm just prospecting now. You tell him, Bert. I lost everything I had about a year and a half ago. The Apaches fired my ranch at at Stone River and went off with all my cattle. All right, Milo. Well, I got a right to yell, ain't I? At the Fort Sumter. 
Lincoln ordered the soldiers out of this territory, and the Apaches are running wild. He ain't interested in your troubles. Well, then let him tell me. The whole place is infested with Apaches. A man ain't safe 20 miles out of town. I heard your offer. Yeah? I have a horse and a gun I'll trade you. And a saddle, good enough to ride anywhere. I never had a saddle like this. A man deserves a saddle like this once before he dies. What about that seven dollars? Here's ten and I'll take a bottle of whiskey. All right. Let's see that horse. Well, one good thing, we lost the cord. Think so? What happened back there is only the beginning of the trouble you're going to get into with him. You got so much advice, take some yourself. Look, son, ain't nothing much more can happen to me, but you're young. You could get into something decent. I still ain't figured your brother waiting in Sonora with all that money. You've been sure of that for a long time, ain't you? How you know he didn't run out on us? Because I know Frank. Just like I know he won't let McCord get to him either. I can just see old Frank let McCord take him back to clear his name. Would you mind telling the sheriff I had nothing to do with holding up the stagecoach with stealing $10,000? Honest, I was just minding my own business. <laughs> minding his own business. <laughs> Worrying about Apaches, head toward Fort Yuma. It's still open. About 70 miles southwest. You know anything about watches? About what? I made a deal on three horses and some guns. Some fellas a sheriff rode out of town. <laughs> a real gold watch and $30. I made a fine swap. You should have seen them horses. <laughs> Where'd you get this saddle? It ain't stolen, if that's what's bothering you. You know Frank Egan? He owed me $60 in a poker game up in Tomahawk Gap five years ago. Somebody shot and killed him when they caught him cheating. Five years ago? 3rd of August, 1859. How do you happen to be so sure of the date? Only time I ever had a royal flush, and everybody's setting in, and they catch a man cheating. I'd have cleaned up. You wouldn't forget it either, brother. Well, everybody took something to square when Egan owed them. I took his saddle, somebody took his guns. You, telling you the same thing I told your friends, don't come back. The way they was riding them horses, it won't last three hours. Where were they heading for? Torgut Springs. Hey. Do they know what they're getting into? They wanted a shortcut to Sonora. If they want to take on Apaches, it's none of my business. Come on. Maybe they'll kill each other off. Save somebody the trouble. How did it work? Like a charm. We give them maybe a day's start.
I got a way to get us out of here. I don't think they killed us. They want our scalps and our guns. Just wait till they come down to get their hands on us. You're crazy. How many bullets have you got? What are we afraid of? It ain't crazy at all. I'm for it. Who cares what you're for? I said I'm for it. Me too. Listen, if we try you to... You don't like to go climb them rocks. <laughs> You think I helped you out of this because I wanted to see any of you live? You're crazy. Frank Egan's dead. You're lying. Take a look at the saddle on my horse. I got it from a man who saw him die. Go look at it. You satisfied? If Frank's dead, there's no money. There ain't no money! You didn't come this far just to tell us that? No. Frank got shot in Tomahawk Gap the day we went to prison. He died broke. And a man don't die broke when he's got $10,000 to spend in a town like Tomahawk Gap. He never got to the money. So that's your idea. You know where the money is, don't you? If it's still there, we're getting it. With me. It's our money. You got no call on it. Why didn't you tell that to the posse when they closed in on you? Why didn't you tell them that I was just a stranger that you'd met up in the past, that you'd never seen me before? Figured having you, they wouldn't look no more for Frank. Sure. And I spent all them years in prison paying for it. I was making $30 a month riding fence. That's three sixty dollars a year. Five years makes $1,800. That's what Frank Egan owes me for serving his time. Now he's dead and I'm getting my $1,800. What about us? What if we say no? You ain't gonna say no. You're leading me to my money, and I ain't particular which one of you do it, either. All right. All right, there's enough money for all of us. 
I know the country. We got 60 miles of desert and mountains on horses that ain't good enough to travel 20. Which way are we heading? Southwest. We came from here. That's Twin Forks. This is Torgut Springs. We head 60 miles southwest across these mountains. We travel at night, hold up by day, walk our horses every three hours. If we're lucky, we ought to make it in two nights, maybe three. If we don't run into more Apaches. Get your guns. said we're gonna kill her. And maybe there's more of them. See if you can make her talk. You talk. Abla! Abla! What are you talking to her for? I know good Apache. She ain't gonna talk to you. She's no Apache. If you can't leave her here, she'll bring her whole village after us. We're taking her with us. I don't care what you do. Let's get out of here. Is it bad? Just see. give me a little... A little time here. Just a little time. Sure, sure. You'll be all right. We ain't leaving you. Who says we ain't gonna leave him? I'm all right. I'm gonna be all right. It's 60 miles to Tomahawk Gap. I don't want you slowing us up. I'll take care of him. What's the matter? We've been in this together from the beginning. Come on, come on. Make up your minds. I said I'd take care of him. He won't cause you no trouble. Just remember, the first time you slow us up, you get dumped. Come on, kid. We gotta go. Now. Big man now. <laughs> Me and Egan. Can't get money. Can't shove me around. Ain't nobody gonna shove me around. Nobody. Nobody. No more. Easy now. Easy. You ain't gonna leave me. Now, easy. Get some rest. That's all you need. Have money. Money. You gotta help me. I didn't know his arm was going to get that bad. What do you want of me? We're going to dump him. That's what we're going to do. He ain't even got a horse anymore. Well, he's got mine. You've got to help me with him. Please. Just take a look at him, will you? 
Taking my money. Keep it all. Taking what's mine. Ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do. No one. What do you think? He ain't got nothing to work with. There's nothing we can do. I get the money. Get the money. Big man now. Nato. 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 Tobacco. Tobacco. Give us the tobacco. Keep your hand off that gun. Get away, McCord. If you want to keep your scalp, there'll be no shooting. Out there's Apaches all over the place. They can spot us by a gunshot for 20 miles. I heard you. He'd only listen to me. If I could only get him away from that idiot. I know I never made nothing in my life, but that's no sign I couldn't help him. You understand? Do you? Chata, hey. She is kiss. Oh, that's nice. Your day. She is scared.
couldn't play a good tune. <laughs> the girl wasn't bad, though. <laughs> taking this two and we ain't letting them die. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Lay back. You ain't cutting my arm! He'll spit in your face when he's better. He'll spit in your face! Maybe so, but I'm taking that bullet out now. Are we gonna get that money or ain't we? Go ahead. Some now. Slap hole. Eight hours. Yeah, but it was a mighty nice place the last time I was here. That shiny bar. All that liquor behind it. All them pretty whiskey bottles. And that funny looking bartender. <laughs>
helped Washi. What's a Navajo girl doing here? Hey! Well now, some folks to talk to. I ain't seen nobody in Tomahawk Gap for some time. No, sir. I ain't talked to nobody in years. Three of you, huh? What about it? Nothing, nothing at all. I was just asking. My name is Travis Jonas P. Uh, Say, what you doing with that Navajo girl? This is Apache country. What you doing here? Well, that's my graveyard down there. I take care of the graveyard. That's what I do. Tend it. See, it looks proper. Ain't no Apache running me off my job either. <laughs> no, sir. You ain't said who you was, mister. Just passing through. Well, that's nice. What do you mean you tend the graveyard? I see there's four of you. And the girl. What about the graveyard? Well, that's my job. That graveyard's been my duty even since before the Indians killed seven of my kin and chased everybody out of this town with me. Well, somebody speak up. What's the matter with the boy here? Never mind him. You mean you've been here alone all this time? Well, I wouldn't say that. Them soldiers from Fort Yuma, they ride by ever so often. I live up there in the rocks about three miles... What about Indians? Oh, I can smell the Indian a mile away. They don't get no chance of watching me. <laughs> no, sir. I said there was to be no shooting. Who is this? Just a crazy old coot takes care of the graveyard. We getting that money? Right now. Money? What money? What do you... Give me my gun! Take it easy. Now, when we move, let's stay close to the building. Stay out of sight as much as we can. I thought you said you were just passing through. I'm going with you. Nobody's leaving you, boy. We'll be right back. I've never seen men like you before. Say, this is my town. I'm supposed to be telling you what to do. Where are you taking me? What's this all about? Give me my gun. You want a cliff to a right old age. You better quit your talking. What you 
men doing here? Tell them to leave my graves alone. Leave my graves alone. That ain't it. Wait a minute. They look just like this, but you've got to look for a grave marked with the name of Martha, Martha Carrick. I'll never forget that name. I had a gal once by the name of Martha. You keep out of here. You ain't got no business here. Here it is, just like I told you. Martha Terrace, right in here. Stop that, demon. I gotta keep this place in even night, because someday folks are gonna come back here to stay and make this a big city. Then they're gonna call this the Travis Cemetery in honor of me, because I was the only one that stayed here to take care of and leave my grave alone. You keep out of here. Stop that gigging, I tell you! <laughs> You'd have blowed your head off. It's here! You got her head! It's here! Oh, I got her head! Go on! Try it! Try it! Try it! Here, try it! Try it! Shoot it off! No! The Indians here, it's too bad. I said shoot it off. Couldn't have just disappeared. It was all in bundles, tied up tight. We all seen it. You got the money, ain't you? You'll take care of the graves and you found it. That's why they don't want us around here. Where'd you put it? Put what? Why would I go digging up graves? I don't know anything about any money. Why you come bothering me like this? I didn't do nothing to you. <laughs> well, somebody took it. We buried it here. Why is a box still here but no money? You ought to know. You had it. Frank gave it to you. What do you mean, gave it to me? You saw what happened. We all saw it. Frank took the money when we got it off the stage, didn't he? He made us split up when they caught up to us at the crossroads. He said when we reached town, we'd meet in back of the saloon. Frank got there first. He had the box, remember? And just like he told us to do, we quietly slipped into town. And one by one, we reached the back of that saloon. Right behind him. But we were hemmed in, remember? Cut them both ends of town! We'll cut them off! The town was filled with a posse. Frank said we'd have to hide the box and the money. They'd hang us if they caught us with it. Frank had this graveyard idea. He, he said nobody'd think of looking for us in the graveyard. So we separated again. And agreed to meet right here. Some of you men spread up and search the alleys! Frank was right about the graveyard. It was the safest place. And while the posse had the main street blocked, and most of the alleys covered and we're searching every building, we all came in here and picked this grave. Right here is where we buried it, together. You and me and Doc and Frank. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Frank wasn't there. Frank wasn't with us. Not when we buried the box. He never showed until we almost filled the grave. He came in behind us later. A long time later. I remember him standing there, just watching us. Then we scattered to meet in the pass. That's the last we saw of him. Never was any money in it. That's it. He took it out before he gave it to the kid. Yeah. Frank had a couple of minutes alone when we hit town. Before we met back at the saloon. Yeah. That's why he didn't show at the graveyard till later. He was hiding it. Yeah, but where was he hiding it? Where do you think he hid it? I don't know. Well, we left him back in the saloon. He went across the street, not with a posse at both ends of town. No. He'd have picked a spot someplace between the saloon and the end of the street. Yeah. 
What do you think? We're wasting time. Let's get started. Nothing in the alley, nothing here. What are we gonna do, rip up the whole town? Not if the kid's right. We've only got five places to search, here to the end of the street. That ain't uh, nothing. Gotta get Doc out here. What's he doing in there, baby and that kid again? I ain't done nobody any harm. You didn't have to tie me up like this. Looks a lot better. You want your share, you better get out there. Nobody's telling you anything. You want the money, don't you? Nothing under this neither. It ain't here, it just ain't in the town. We keep looking. What for? Maybe the kid... Maybe he didn't remember right. He has to be right. Craig had never got out of town with it. How do you know? He never spent it. He died here. I don't care, it ain't here. I ain't looking no more. I'm getting out. I'm taking the kid in the horse and I'm getting out. I'm out. Uh, uh, uh. Let him go. No. It ain't here. You and me is getting out. What's the matter? It ain't here. The money ain't in the town. When we leave, we leave together. With them Indians around, every man's a gun. Even him. Even him. We shouldn't have come. We should never come in the first place. Fill this. Fill it. So oh, you figured it had to be buried from there to there. It was dark, wasn't it? Who said he couldn't have taken a chance and crossed the street? How long do you think we can stay here before the minions come down on us? Both of you. That's smart. Those shots could bring Indians down on our necks. Drop them! Get over there. Get back in there. Move! Where'd he come from? I don't know who you are, mister, but you can't be no crazier than these rascals coming into my town, digging up my grave. Shut up! Maybe my saddle didn't turn out as good as you figured. Saddle's fine. Been trailing you since you left Twin Forks, me and my partner. He'd be back early this evening. Sent him up to Fort Yuma for some help. What help? Gotta make sure the government gets back that army payroll you stole from him. He might have left with the money. He ain't got any money. He ain't got a very good memory either. Tore up the town pretty good finding it. Now, where is it? 
<laughs> there ain't no money. Go on, search us. There ain't a stick of money. He ain't lying. We haven't found it. That doesn't mean we're not going to. Stay back. You can stand there just so long with that gun pointed at us. I can stand a long time. Maybe you got it, maybe you ain't. You're stuck either way. The army will be here soon. If you're lying, they'll make you talk. A little more of that jail you just come out of will make you talk, all right. You can't put us back in jail. Why not? But we should... Get back! Stand back against the bar! Move! Turn around. Turn around! Look at the shirt! Tie him up! What about his troops? They won't be here tonight. We've still got time. What are you trying to tell me? You stay. Stay here. Look at those mountains over there. Indian signals. We came this far. We're fine in it. Maybe under the next board. Don't you understand? Maybe under the next board. Maybe I can get the army here before your man does. You said they couldn't get here all night, didn't you? What you figuring? Well, the army sends a patrol. Go on search every couple of days for Apaches. They get as close to here as four or five miles sometimes. Uh, there's a busted mirror over by the bar. Careful, the girl's watching us. Get a hold of it. Hold it up to the window, let the sun hit it. Tuakla. Tuakla. Mm. Tuakla. Chuakla. 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 Shh. 
shut it down. He ain't gonna lay a hand on you. No more. You understand? No more. I'm gonna take care of her. I gotta hey. take care of her with one arm. Down behind the stables. Get it, Doc. Accord. That rifle. That's Marlowe's rifle. How'd you come by it? One of the Apaches had it. You never got to Fort Yuma. You ain't leaving us tied up here. Them Apaches are coming back. We won't have a chance. Those rifles. We'll drop them outside as we go. We haven't got the horses to take you with us. Turn around. We ain't leaving the girl. She goes along with me. How about us? He's got a place up on the rocks. You'll make that all right. Did you get the horse? Yeah. Here's some bullets. You ain't taking the Indian girl, are you? She double-crossed you. She double-crossed you, I tell you. You take anybody, take me. Who you think brown them Apache? We're leaving, kid. Are you coming or ain't you? You ain't blaming her. She was using that piece of mirror there, catching the sun with it. She was using that, I tell you. You're a liar. I ain't. She was flashing it. I seen her when she done it. You can't take her. You've got to take me. You've got to take me. Come on, kid. We're going. Go on. Ain't you going to take me? I'm telling you the truth. Ha. She was the Inga. You do hate us. Yeah, I seen that flash from the window. You've been waiting all this time to go back to them out there. Well, go on. Go on back to them! I thought we was taking the girl. It's only been a few minutes. They ever got a chance.
Doc. They got Doc. What's she still doing here? Where else should she be? She's no Apache. She was a prisoner of them Indians when you picked her up. Another thing I didn't tell you, Travis and I gave the signal. He was trying to reach the troops out there. The girl didn't have nothing to do with it. back for more of their tribe. Oh, they ain't never going back. You don't know Indians if you think you can scare them. Why are they so quiet all of a sudden? They're getting at my graves! They're getting at the graves! <laughs> Stay away from that door. They're just out at the end of town getting ready to come back. I gotta protect my graves. I gotta protect my graves. I know what the Midians do to graves. I know. I, I know. I'll get them out of my graveyard. Right, go, 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 go. Not scaring off. Got any smokes? Why'd you come back? Why did you?
Got about an hour before sundown. They've been using that gully up at the end of the street. And dragging the wounded back there each time. Hey. That keg of gunpowder we found. It's just up the street in front of one of the stores. If they're in that gully taking care of their wounded, waiting for a dark, they're in one tight little group. We dropped that keg of gunpowder into the gully. That's setting it off. Ain't got no fuse, nothing. She can shoot this straight into it. That's all we need. I'll get the gunpowder to the gully. I'll let him see me. When I start running back, let the arrow go with a fire torch on it. When those Indians start to follow me, that keg of gunpowder will be right under their feet. They won't know what hit them. Got any matches? Yeah. One bullet. That ain't gonna cover you much. Just keep your eyes open. Bahia. 